Hi everyone! So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys and I'm gonna split it up probably into two videos and do one today, one tomorrow because it is kind of a lot of stuff. It's just stuff that I've been collecting like over the last week. You know, whenever I've been near a Dollar Tree, I'll pop in and you know, you only well i've only been able to find like you know two items here three items here like so on and that so instead of just doing little baby hauls i've kind of just saved it all to do one and then now that i got everything all together i'm like wow that's a lot <laughs> so we're gonna do two videos here so let me share with you this is gonna be all the easter stuff that i've found so far so mine has new pom-pom trim and it's like in kind of like pastels, but like these two I feel are kind of like little bright and neon, especially the green is really, really bright. The yellow's pretty, like I should have probably got two of these. I could use it for like bumblebee projects because I'm going to be doing a couple of those after Valentine's Day wraps up, so probably in March. And then here are the other two. We have a blue and then see this one's like a neon right here. I feel like these two are super bright and these are more like the pastels. But they're really pretty. So I got those. And then they had a bunch of wood pieces out. So I got the little carrots here. I was thinking about maybe painting it and doing like a little scene. You know, like maybe put like Happy Easter or like a little bunny here or something like that. You know, not necessarily paint it as, you know, green and orange carrot. Although I might do one like that because I really want to practice how to paint. So I might do one like realistic and then one with like a little scene because you get eight pieces in here. So I might do that and do like a little mix. And then I found the little eggs. Here are the baby size carrots. You can see the size difference right there. You get 14 carrots, 14 eggs. Here are the bunnies that you get eight. So these kind of go like together. They're about the same size. And on the bunny, I'm not sure if I want to do like a realistic one or maybe something else. We'll see. I might do like a little scene in this one as well. And then maybe do one kind of realistic. We give him a little googly eye, put a little pom-pom on his tail. We'll see. And let's see. Then they had little bunnies right here. You get 14 pieces of those. I think there were some chicks. They might be in the other bag. So let me share with you on this trip Sonny was with me and he saw this birthday bag and he grabbed it and I'm like who are you gonna use that for and he's like me and I'm like boy your birthday is done and he's like save it so apparently I'm going to save this bag until next January I can't even close it down but this is why he wanted it there was a little pig so yep apparently this is his bag for next year so I'm gonna stick it in um the closet with the wrapping paper and just save it so we have our little cow little horse a sheep our chickadee and the little piggy so and he liked that it was on a blue that the pig was on a blue present so got that for him and let's see what else we got here oh my gosh they have the cutest little bunny butts right here how stinking cute are these it was so hard not to buy a bunch of these because i just thought they were so so cute but i was good i got the boy and i got the girl i was thinking like how cute would this be to like make a huge wand like a huge rosette and like doily and just like layer it up and then put the little bunny butt right there for the wand so I think I'm going to do that with one of these and then the other one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So we'll just have to see. I should have honestly got more because I bet you if I were to look now, they're not even going to be available. So yeah, they're just really, really cute. I If I find them, I might get, you know, another pair again. We'll see. I don't know. I'm trying to be good and not buy a bunch of stuff because y'all know that I buy too much and I'm already out of room where to put everything so I've been trying to be really good about it I did find the black finally so I thought I bought black the last time and apparently I bought two navies so I don't know what I did there but I found the black so I picked that up I got some little cactus right here that I want to send to a crafty friend. Let me put those up over here. These storage cases, these are in the tool section. And every time I see these, I pick them up. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Look, it looks like they cut the box open and they slice through. 
Oh, I didn't even notice. I don't like that. Um, but anyways, so every time I see these, I pick these up. So I got two of these. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick like these little pieces in here and have like a little Easter box. And then I got one extra because I just always need more storage, especially right now with like cleaning. I'm finding like a bunch of little stuff that I'm like, it'd be so much better just to throw into like one of these little containers. So yeah, got two of those. And I never, ever find the decorative socks at Dollar Tree. And I was so excited that I finally found some. So we have Knott's Berry Farms here, which is like the Snoopy Disneyland. So I got these because we have passes and we love going. And then I found some Mickeys that are so stinking cute. Look at his little face. That's so cute. And then I got some Baby Yoda really cute so i'm really happy that i found those i'm sad i didn't find these when they were a dollar no a bunch of people did so yeah i paid the dollar 25 for those let's see oh my gosh again with the whole bunny butt thing i think it's so cute so look at this wood piece right here really really cute i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i don't know if i want to like paint the little feetsies and just use it as like a bunny tail you know I could put like a big old like pom-pom here and you know just do the little feet and then you know paint and like glitter it I don't know we'll see I'm thinking about leaving it as it is you know just painting it glitter and make it look cute and then definitely changing this out because look how short that is I definitely cannot hang that up and I want to hang it up on the wall so I don't know we'll see I will let you guys know I'll probably do a video on that if I get around to doing that and they had these little bunnies right here that I thought were so cute. I want to paint at least one brown so it looks like a little chocolate bunny. I think that would be really cute. So I got a pack of those. And then I got these. I think I got two of each maybe. So I got one to have for my tear tray. I actually have two and they are Halloween themed but I leave them out all year long. So this one has the little bunny and then this little tassel down here and pretty pastels. And then the other one is this one with a little chickadee right here. So the reason I got two was one I'm going to keep for tear trays and the other one I actually want to cut apart and use the beads. Like look at how huge these are. These are perfect for pokey tools or for the beatable pins. Or even just to, you know, wire wrap and use for a chunky charm. So, for $1.25, I thought that was a good price for all the beads. And then you get the little, you know, character at the bottom. So, yeah, I think I got two of each here. Oh, see, here's the orange one right here. So, look at Halloween beads. Yes, please. And here's the little tassel for that one. And then this one has the carrot. So, yeah, I can definitely use all of this. So what I was thinking was to cut somewhere like up, probably like halfway, just so I had more than enough of the little twine here. I can put some beads, sorry, my camera glitched there. So I could um, put some other beads on here and then, you know, tie it off so that way I can still use the little tassel. So like this one that's all green, I might do some green and gold beads up here and make it a St. Patrick's Day. So we'll see about that. Like I said, I got two of each, but I guess I didn't get two orange. Let's see. Oh my gosh, they have really, really cute bunnies right now. So this is the same bunny from last year. And I still have a couple in my stash because I wanted to make the bunnies into me, Sunny, and my mom. So I still need to do that. I still have those three from last year in a box. So I need to pull those out and get that done. And then look it. They had a little chocolate bunny. How stinking cute are these two? So I only got these right here. I only got one little chocolate bunny because I don't want to have a bunch of bunnies everywhere. But I definitely needed at least one. So I don't know if I should leave these plain or decorate them. We'll see. Um, I might decorate this guy and, you know, send him off in Happy Mail or something. I don't know. We'll see. So, but I'm definitely keeping this guy for myself. Oh, look, they had little feetsies right here. So you get 10 pieces. And every year I buy the stickers and then just throw them away. 
because we will leave the little footprints down to the kids Easter baskets I've been doing that forever okay so back before they made these I used to just cut and hand draw them and use them for like sunny so I'm I was I'll never forget the first year that they actually like made the little stickers I was so excited so yeah they have these but you know what now that I'm looking at it it might fit right here I might use it for this like I might cut out the little ovals and use it right here that might be cute I don't know we'll see we'll play with that but yeah I got those and let's see okay so Liana who is it's a deal on YouTube she had hauled one of these and said that she wanted to host a swap so I had messaged her and you know she just briefly mentioned it in a video and she said that yeah she's gonna do it and she's going to do like a whole video later on so that I would need three of these well I only found one so I still need to find two more but I 99% sure I have one in my stash that I wanted to just decorate and send in happy mail just like one by itself so I technically need one more and then I would be able to join her swap and I don't remember when she said she was going to post a video on that so yeah if you want to do like a tower you would glue three of these together to make a tower and then she's going to host a swap on that so um be on the hunt for these if you want to join her swap so You'll probably see me get more of these in the future. Let's see what else. They had these. Look at how cute these are. I definitely want to decorate the nose and put little googly eyes to it. I'll probably add some glitter to the ears. But they come in different colors. Let's see. So we have pink. We have blue. Oh my gosh, there's feetsies in here. There's little feetsies. And then... Or purple I didn't even realize that it had the little feet seeds that is so cute oh now I kind of want more just for the little feet I don't know why the little feet are so cute so I got a pack of those and then I got a pack of these bunnies I don't think there's anything extra in these so there's three pink oh that only had two blues I wonder if there should have been three and then three purple oh yeah look I got I should have got more right was that that piece I don't know oh no it's probably this piece I have no idea but so I got those and then my last name starts with a C so I got this C it's nice and thick like if you're doing a um, Easter swap with somebody that'd be really cute to get their initial but I just got our last name. So I'm thinking about putting a bling on here. So I'm going to paint it and then just do it all like blinged out and then hang it up on the wall. So again, I wouldn't use this twine. I would use some other pretty ribbon. So I could do a video on that also. I don't know how fun it would be to watch me just put bling down. But I could, you know, fast forward it with some music just so you guys can see. Hair ties. This is like an essential in my life. I bust these and go through like one a week. So I'm always buying hair ties. And let's see. Oh, I did get another bunny one. Good for me. <laughs> I was smart. Oh, let's see. That's it, you guys. So that's all the Easter stuff that I picked up this trip. Like I said, I have, well, not this trip, but like collective trip, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I have another haul that I'll probably post up tomorrow that's just kind of like a little bit of everything else that I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I can't see what else. I can't wait to see what else they come out for Easter. Really excited about that. So all right. Bye guys.